my dear brothers and sisters there are some other people who have there are some people who have this overconfidence about themselves some are overconfident about their abilities and especially with regard to sin also they have overconfidence i have seen many people those who are drunkards they keep alcohol bottles in their home when we ask them these are not good for you you have to stop it then they used to say father i can stop it any time i have stopped it many times and if i want i can stop it today so this is the confidence that they have some people they are addicted to many bad games computer games and internet addiction to movies when we tell them to stop they also say the same i can stop it any time and when we tell them see this will contaminate your mind it will affect your mind then they have their own justification saying no father this is all nonsense my mind is clear my mind is okay there are some people who are falling into wrong relationship making friendship sometimes they are already married but they have some other extra marital friendship when we tell them then they say father this is only natural friendship that's all nothing bad everything is good but remember always be careful about your own weaknesses we human beings are very weak don't play around with the sins if you see anything that can lead you to sin be very careful we read like this in the word of god sirach chapter 12 verse 13 sirach chapter 12 verse 13 says the word of god says who pities a snake charmer when he is bitten or all those who go near wild animals some people have this tendency they are so overconfident they want to go closer to animals wild animals dangerous animals to take just one selfie or just to take a group photo with the wild animals my dear brothers and sisters the lord says if someone does something like that who will pity for her or pity for him suppose a snake charmer always playing around with the snakes with over confidence and if he is bitten who will pity for him because he was playing around with the snake if you play around with sin you will be bitten there is nobody will pity pity for you therefore accept your weakness and if you feel that this can lead you to sin your subconscious mind your your holy spirit through your conscience will tell you be careful listen to that voice and get out of these connections flee from snakes as as, as flee from sin as from a snake this is what the word of god says so escape from these kinds of tendencies and evil otherwise if you are bitten later bitten by these sins bitten by this snake which you were playing around with nobody will feel pity for you no one will be there to help you you will be left behind let's ask forgiveness from god for those moments where we have entertained evil with overconfidence thinking that i am in control of myself remember nobody is in control of themselves unless god control them Thank you.